Welcome back. Even though Harley Quinn Season 4 Episode 9 is committed to a degree of extreme carnage, it still manages to stun viewers with a shocking act of violence. However, when a television episode is as relentlessly depressing as potato-based cloning incident, viewers may expect things to go even more awry. Ivy thinks to herself at the conclusion of the episode that her most recent success doesn't really seem like a victory for a reason. Some of the season's biggest concerns have been addressed as we approach the season's finale, but Harley along with Ivy are still dealing with more personal struggles as Lex and the Joker, their enemies, use their strength and common experiences to their advantage. Despite everything, Harley still kisses the potato-based version of herself in this episode, so how awful can it really be? This innate silliness and defiance of all narrative conventions contribute to Harley Quinn the fourth season episode 9's tendency to become overly gloomy. The episode's humor comes from the character-specific details, like the Flash's incomprehensible sense of humor or Lex Luthor's dedication to destroying the environment and blocking the sun out of his small-minded hatred of Superman. The episode is wrapped in an oppressive gray since the sun is absent, and this affects more people than just Superman. Ivy's abilities are also diminished as she must rely on mingling and small talk to persuade Lex to undo what he's done while the apocalypse rages on all around them. Ivy's dedication to the joke results in a comical demonstration of unintentional strength while playing golf, as she kills a man she's attempting to win over not just once but twice in an attempt to one-up Lex. Ivy's personality can be grating at times, particularly when she ignores Harley, but her tendency to become petty in order to win is a humorous character trait that adds depth to her outwardly calm appearance. The scenes between her and Lex are also a sweet little reminder of Harley Quinn's general contempt for powerful men. The series takes great pleasure in portraying individuals frequently referred to as superheroes or criminals as whiny, irritable, social climbers, from Batman to Gordon, the Commissioner, to Lex Luthor. Ivy's efforts are successful, but she doesn't feel triumphant as she sees Lex board his rocket ship fly off to his planet and hide out until the sun breaks through the clouds. As Harley discovers through her clone, whom she hasn't been hallucinating, that she is, in fact, the person who killed Nightwing, it parallels her own growing remorse and emotional turmoil. The information is hardly shocking. There hasn't been much doubt that these acts will have consequences because we've seen her experience violent sleepwalking episodes throughout the season and been told that she probably suppresses her wicked side to be good. Though there hasn't been much debate, Harley's hesitation in telling Batgirl that it was her duplicate who killed him is perhaps the clearest sign that she hasn't totally transformed. The Joker, who has once again arrived at a time to thoroughly attempt and destroy the life Harley has established for herself, rips away what appears to be an instance of honesty from Harley. A nice reminder of his impact and influence on Batgirl's life is provided when he shoots her and flees into the shadows. Due to its unpredictability and the reminder of how violence isn't governed by schedules or fights between heroes and villains, it may be the most unnerving moment the program has ever had. The greatest blows are instead dealt by that sudden savagery. Harley Quinn Season 4 Episode 9 concludes on a rather uneasy note, even if we don't yet know whether Batgirl survives or perishes as a result of the injury she sustained. To deserve the moment, the series will need to demonstrate that its presence has a purpose other than serving as cheap shock value to advance Harley's character or toss her into a wrath-fueled vengeance rage. With just one episode left, it is going to be interesting to see if the characters return to the status quo or apply what they have learned, like Harley's forays into heroics, to the skills they are most adept at. Season 4 has been an experiment in seeing how far these individuals can push toward their own natural instincts. See you eventually on another engrossing review. I hope the video is enjoyable. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.